right, I'm gonna do a little bighorn sheep photography and videography today here. We've got some nice uh, light snow falling, which is awesome. And there's a nice little coat of fresh snow on the cliffs. So uh, it's really cool looking up there. Right now the sheep are way up high on the cliffs. So I'm using the big lens, a 600 millimeter on a Nikon D500. So that's a crop factor too. So it's shooting at like 900 millimeters right now, effective. And that's, I need it to get up there because the, the sheep are way up high on the cliffs. Hopefully they come back down a little lower in a little bit, um, but if not, I'm just gonna hang out here and see what's going on there. They're, they're kind of in their rut mode now, so they're button heads a little bit and chasing the girls around, and uh, it's pretty fun to watch. So I'm just looking for little moments of action and interesting scenes with the beautiful uh, cliffs and the snow and just looking for something interesting and unique up there. We'll see what happens, but it's uh, fun to be out here on the National Elk Refuge near Jackson, Wyoming. Uh, the sheep come down here every winter and put on a nice show for us. Okay, so I'm just shooting at a pretty standard f8 up here and I'm shooting at plus 1.7 on exposure compensation because of all this bright white snow on the cliffs and everything uh, I want to make sure that the exposure is bright enough to keep that snow white and not let it get all dull and gray so plus 1.7 on exposure compensation looks really good and uh, yeah I'm just gonna wait for some action or interesting moments Got some good action there, a nice little chase sequence, a little bit of headbutting, not much. And a uh, little mating behavior. The rams are chasing the one of the girls around. It's fun though, it's super beautiful with the fresh snow and uh, the action and everything. It's, uh, it's just great, just what I came out for today. And I'm uh, just having a great time out here. All right, the, uh, the chasing and the fighting and carrying on seems to be quieting down now the rams seem to have all laid back down for a while so I think I'm gonna um, pack it up and uh, go home and do some stuff and then I'm gonna go out this afternoon as well either here or maybe go on a hike to look for owls 
We'll see what I'm feeling. It'll be something fun, though. I promise. Guess who's out hunting for owls? This guy, that's who's out hunting for owls. It's a beautiful evening. Uh, I got sidetracked, I, I only gave myself like an hour of daylight left here, so uh, I hope I can find something fast. Um, it's snowing just lightly right now. And there's like a light dusting of snow on, on everything. So it's a super good opportunity if I can find an owl to have it like perched up in some of these evergreens with uh, the snow on the branches. It's, um, it could be really super nice out. So I'm gonna do my best to find an owl in the woods and make some nice photos. Cross my fingers and hope it works out tonight because it's so pretty. All right, I'm still still looking for owls, and actually I just saw one, but it was a great horned owl, and uh, the second it saw me, it flew away like crazy. It wanted nothing to do with me. So uh, I let that go, because honestly I'd rather photograph great gray owls, and it clearly didn't want to have his photo taken today. I hear a squirrel barking. I better go research that. But anyway, it's super owly in here. So, uh, I'm hopeful that I might find uh, something good. Um, today I'm traveling with, uh, that's my Sigma 120 to 300 f 2.8 lens, which is a great lens, I really like it. Uh, it's way heavier than my 300 f 4 Nikon. It lets in twice as much light which is the reason I brought it out today, because it's already getting kind of dark out here with the storm and the clouds and everything, and it's getting late. So I'm definitely going to want that extra light. And it's way more than twice as heavy. <laughs> so I'm on the big tripod and a heavy lens tonight. But I think I'll need it. If I find an owl, I'm going to want that extra shutter speed and uh, the extra light that that f2.8 gives me. So that's what I'm running with this evening. I hope I get to put it to good use. Alrighty. Anybody see anything interesting behind me? Maybe like a great gray owl? All right, so found one. Now I gotta hope it cooperates and um, lets me kind of follow it around while it hunts. So far, so good. It, it didn't fly away. It seems to just be chilling up there on that perch. So uh, cross your fingers. I'm crossing mine under here and uh, hope I get some nice stuff tonight. This is going to be fun. I'm gonna do a quick, what am I thinking um, when setting up for this photo? So I'm gonna try and keep my eye on the owl, which is right there uh, in the little screen while I'm talking about this. Actually, I'll just watch the owl while I'm talking. Um, <clears throat> I've arranged myself here so there's this big slanting tree. It's kind of at an angle there. And then there's these kind of uh, old Mm, kind of, I'd, I'd just say barren branches that have some snow on them that are all coming out to the left. And the owl is on a beautiful perch on one of those branches that's got a nice little curve on it. 
and it's really pretty. And I've arranged myself here so none of those branches are intersecting with the owl's body, like slicing through it or anything, just the one that it's on. And that right behind it is a nice dark um, conifer uh, to keep that kind of clean and dark right behind him to really make him stand out. I'm saying him, I don't know if it's a him or a her. But to really make the bird stand out from the background. Um, I'm zooming out to include the entire branch, so I don't want to cut that off and have it go all the way through the frame. I actually want to see the end of the branch, because uh, I think those branches are kind of a cool little element, all those snow-covered branches leading out to the owl. It's not the best photograph ever, but I'm still trying to do the best I can with the situation that's here. But he's been up here for like 20 minutes now, and he keeps looking at the ground. There's definitely a critter there. He's just got to find the right opportunity, I think. And I'm just waiting for a nice flight shot or a nice takeoff shot. And he keeps teasing me, looking like he's about to take off and go down and hunt to the ground. So far that hasn't happened, but I'm going to hang in here. It's getting dark and I just have to keep cranking up my ISO. But I'm going to stay here, you know, as long as I can. And uh, the storm, it's just too beautiful of a situation. The storm keeps getting better and better. So I hope it works out. If it doesn't, then I'll call it a night. But I'm going to be optimistic and say he's going to do something. I hope. Well, I finally got that takeoff shot. Where is he? I lost sight of him here. Um, but I got that takeoff shot off of that perch that I waited for for about a half hour. And unfortunately, he kind of he went the, the wrong direction, or at least not the direction I was hoping for, for the best photo. But, he's still around here. I gotta find him. Maybe something else will good will happen. We'll see. First, I gotta find him, though. This owl, can you see him? He's right up here on this branch. He seems to like spend about 20 minutes on every perch before he decides to either move to a new one or go down and hunt. So I'm waiting, I'm about 15 minutes into this one. So hopefully in the next five minutes and not while I've got my back turned to him, hopefully in the next five minutes or so, maybe he'll go down and hunt again. All right, that was sweet. And I don't use that term lightly, uh, but the, the owl came down and hunted. Um, I think I got some okay, like uh, the hover and descend flight shots down. And then uh, he, he caught the caught the little vole. I'm watching him still over here. He caught the little vole and, and then uh, hopped up onto this branch and swallowed it looking straight at me. 
Um, shot that in a little 4K video. That was sweet. Just, just kind of couldn't have hoped for anything better than that tonight. Just wonderful. So, it's doing a good job hunting, and it looks like it's still hunting. So, I'm going to put this camera down so I don't blow another shot. This is great. Good fun. But it's getting so dark now, like, the camera screen does not look like it's dark at all. But uh, I'm down to f2.8, ISO 3200, and 1 500th of a second. So, I, I can go a little bit longer out here, and I'll try to. If the owl cooperates, it's flying again over there. Yeah, just to a new perch. Um, but I'll uh, I'll hang in here for a few more minutes. I probably maybe ten more minutes before it's too dark to bother doing photography. It's just so fantastic to be out. The snowstorm is awesome. The owl is awesome. I made some really nice photos. Um, just super grateful to be able to come out and do this on a Saturday evening. Um, just a great way to spend spend the evening. Oh, he's going down. And. Boom! He just went down to the ground. Let me see if I can video this. There he is. Oh, he didn't catch it, so he just flew up to a different tree. Um, anyway, such a great way to spend a Saturday evening. And I think I now have time to go do some hot yoga, get my stretch on, Get the old heart rate up, work out, and uh, heat up the core temperature a little bit, and it'll be awesome. So I think it's been just a fantastic evening, and uh, after a little yoga tonight, it'll be perfect. So I hope you're having a perfect evening too, and um, we'll do it again sometime. Have a great night. Thanks for watching my videos. See ya.